Right, this is a Canon Chesterfield or Canon Cucina cooker. And I've got a problem with the doors on it. And I've been online and I can't find anything online about these, so that's why I'm making this video. It's a lovely cooker, we've had it for donkey's years. But here's the problem, the first problem is, this opens okay, but it won't close. The door won't close. And the problem is that the hinges have worn, and if I lift it as hard as I can, it closes. If I just shut it, it won't go. You got to, Some people would slam it, but lift it and it closes. So the trouble is the hinges here. If you can see this, you might not be able to see that movement. Okay, so that's what the problem is. But to get to that, I've got to get this off because the hinge plate is there. You might not be able to see that because it's dark because of this, but the two screws are there and I can't get to them because this door's in the way, so I've got to take this door off. And this door has these hinges, which I can't find anywhere on the internet to tell me how to take them off. So, I've been looking and they all have clips on. And I found these two clips here, which aren't obvious, but if I flick that, hang on, there you go, now that comes back. And I think that's it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try both sides and try and lift it out. So let's see. goes in like that goes upwards not downwards so how do you get it back in Lift it out of the bottom and then go like that and it comes out. And then to go back in you hook those in first. And then turn it right back. And they go in. There you go. After all that it's easy. I've just had to fathom it out though. Now they are countersunk screws. I was hoping I might be able to make slots in here so I can adjust it to take up the slack, but that's not going to be possible. Right, I've got the door off. I've had a chance to assess the situation. Now, this plate on the top here, I've undone this screw. 
and taking this plate out and it springs out because it's got a spring in it to hold the glass in but it's plastic that's all and the hinge actually goes down into there which is aluminium because I was thinking of bush, putting a bush in or something but it looks like you can't do anything with that so it's just not designed to last for years and years and years I'll put that back in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bend this pin back a bit a couple of well, a millimetre or so just to try and compensate for that wear it's all I can do other than that you just have to lift it every time she wants to shut the oven door which is a pain but just try for a solution anyway right here's what's happening this might be out of focus but I'm not getting the other camera out this is the hinge what I've decided needs to happen is that this pin needs to go over to compensate for the wear it needs to go over about a millimeter this way to the left as you're looking at it and I reckon that uh, a good cheap way of doing it would be to bend the pin just bend it because it goes into a tube in the door and I reckon if I bent it I could probably get away with it that way but I don't need to because I've got welding gear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop through there I'm going to chop through that that bit there and I'm going to move it over a millimetre and then weld it back up again and that's only because I've got access to welding gear so I can keep the pin nice and straight and just move it that way a millimetre if you bend it it's going to go like that and eventually it's going to wear again because it'll just be wearing right on the tip but uh, that's what I'm going to do anyway so let's see how we get on it is done I've welded it I've moved it over at one millimetre now does it work the answer is no it's better than it was it doesn't move there's no play in it but it's still not quite <laughs> still not quite there oh well probably cost me a new cooker then <laughs> 